Our border is wide open in Arizona. We know it because we're feeling it here in Arizona. There is an absolute invasion in our country with millions of people pouring in, tons of deadly drugs pouring into this country. And now we're seeing what that can mean. We're seeing the horror playing out and what's transpired in, in Israel over the past few days. Absolutely barbaric attacks on innocence. Hamas enabled by frankly enabled by Biden and Obama's outrageous deals. Yes, I did say Obama, he's part of the problem. They sent money there and now they're attacking innocent women and children in the most barbaric ways, absolutely horrifying. And I know that we're all praying for Israel right now. We're praying for Israel. We're praying for a swift and decisive victory, and we pray that they bring an end to Hamas for once and for all. I'm gonna be honest. Uh, I wake up a lot in the middle of the night worried about the world because I'm a mama bear and I'm worried about my kids, but I'm really, really worried about the same thing happening here. Am I, are you guys seeing that the same thing could happen here? Thousands? of fighting age men have poured across the southern border with no vetting. We know they have terrorists coming across the border. Who saw the video recently of heavily armed cartel members going back and forth across the Arizona border like they own the place? Guess what? They do own the place. Who said they do? The cartels own Arizona, and until we kick Joe Biden to the curb, Ruben Gallego, and Kirsten Sinema, we're not going to have a state. These guys are dead weight. They're just dead weight. Joe Biden actually came to Arizona two weeks ago. I, nobody cares. Truly, he, he, stumbled, he stumbled off the plane. He recited a few lines that somebody told him, his handlers told him he had to say, but he never once uttered a word about the invasion on our southern border. You know what he did? He came to Arizona and he demonized, he demonized Trump supporters. He called us MAGA extremists. And... And he called us a threat to democracy. I don't know about you, but I'm not going to let a guy who's trying to imprison his political opponent call me or you a threat to democracy. No. You, Joe, you, Joe, are a threat to America. And crooked Joe, you are a threat to the world. Now, I do want to be clear, because I know people are waking up every day. I, I, I may disagree with Arizonans who voted for Joe Biden. I do. But I don't think you're a threat to democracy. You are a citizen just like me, and I know you're struggling as well. We're all struggling. There's not a gas pump out there for Republicans and one for Democrats, right? We're all having to pay the same high gas prices. And you know what? There's not an inflation rate for Republicans and then a separate one for Democrats. All Arizonans are feeling the stress of Biden's reckless spending and his absolute decimation of our energy sector. Can you believe this? On day one, he came in and he reversed President Trump's policy that made us energy independent. I mean, what kind of a fool does that? And that is what is leading to the out-of-control inflation. Bidenflation is what they call it. It's so bad they, they gave it a name. It's called Bidenflation. We haven't had inflation this high in our lifetimes. And nobody has been hit harder by it than Phoenix, Arizona. We're, we're having it the worst here. And I, I don't have to tell you that because you're feeling it. Our costs have gone up close to 20%. Meanwhile, our wages have gone down at least 3%. A dollar back during President Trump is worth 85 cents today. I don't, I'm not a world-renowned economist here, okay? But I'm telling you, that formula is not a formula for success. 
Arizonas are having to max out their credit cards, not for fancy vacations and shopping sprees. They're maxing out their credit cards just to pay their bills, to pay their gas, to pay their groceries. It's really dire. And we know our mortgage rates are through the roof. People can't afford to buy a home. I think when President Trump was in office, we had record low mortgage rates. Now they're at 8% and they're climbing. And 75% of Americans say that things are going in the wrong direction. Things aren't just going in the wrong direction. We're going right off the edge of a cliff right now. But it doesn't have to be that way. I'm a woman of faith. That is the most important thing. If we are bringing people closer to God, if people are waking up, I believe that is one of the most important things we can do. It's also waking people up to what's happening in our government. And I want you to know that I am never going to walk away from the fight to restore honest elections. Never. I don't, I, I don't, I don't care uh, what the fake news says about it. I don't care what the corrupt people say about it. Fighting for honest elections is not a Republican issue. It's not a Democrat issue. It's an American issue. It's an American issue. And we are going to continue along fighting for honest elections. I'm never going to stop until every voter feels confident that their one legal vote counts. And I don't care who you vote for. If you vote Democrat, if you vote Republican, that's between you, God, and the ballot box, okay? You vote how you want, but I want your vote to count. I even want those fake news fools back there. I want your vote to count as well. So a lot of people, a, a lot of people have been saying, well, what's next for you, Carrie? What is next? Well, let me tell you, this mama bear has a whole lot of fight left in her. I got a lot of fight left in me. <laughs> and I'm really tired of watching our politicians retreat from every single important battle. They're cowards. That's how we got into the mess we're in right now, because they have surrendered far too many hills. We are on... We're on the final hill right now. And I'm not surrendering this hill. <laughs> no. I am not going to retreat. I'm gonna stand on top of this hill with every single one of you. And I know you're by my side as I formally announce my candidacy for the United States Senate. <laughs>